What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today... We got the next gen news. We got the next gen news. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, drop the sub. You qualify for an empty giveaway, guys. And tomorrow, next gen does release. So it's a huge W. But we're going to go over some of the things real quickly before we get into the market talk. I'll take like a minute out of this video for next gen. So pretty much only thing they changed was the load in or load time speeds into each game, which in my opinion is big. Uh, pretty much it is cross compatible. So if you're on the Xbox Series X, and you're on the Xbox One. They do collide. You play each other from that console still. You also have the same exact market as the Xbox and the Xbox. So that's one thing that I could say that's good. Um, the core on TTO Online is a little different. TTO Offline a little different. Menu screens are exactly the same. We'll see how the sniping goes. There's nothing on sniping yet. But realistically, I'm a little upset it is different. But it all does make sense. It is not different. Because if it was different, everything would be different. Like my career. It does not transfer over because there's a whole entire new my, my career. A whole entire new part. So in my opinion, it does make sense. But we're going to go over to Market Man. Honestly, I'm hyped. I'm hyped still. I'm getting it tonight at midnight from Best Buy. I got three Xboxes coming in. I don't know how the hell I got three Xboxes. It's just literally a glitch. And guys, we will be running a stream today. Um... We will be running a pretty fire stream today, guys. Please be there. I'll be around 2.30 or 1.30, 2 o'clock Eastern time. Be there. Be square. We'd be grinding out here. We're almost out to 110K, 40K away from XP, Blake Griffin. And yeah, we're going to get into this market, man. We're going to go over some pricing. And I want to talk about one card and one card only. The other day, guys, I saw my T-Mac for 250K. Whoever got that got a steal. You know what, guys? This card right here is at 298K with a couple extra badges, guys. This is crazy, man. This T-Mac is up in value big time. I sold mine with literally none. When I sold mine, there was less on the auction. And to be honest, I don't know how the heck that kid snagged them for $250. Uh, we're going to talk about another player, and it's Grant Hill. I actually did end up getting mine for around $280K yesterday, in which I'm actually very happy about. That was actually a very big snag. And as you guys can see, my MT is very low because I have to sell Drazen. I have to sell Westbrook. I have to sell a bunch of cards because I still have to do those challenges right after I do come home from the gym we are going to grind so yeah this is definitely a card you want to keep looking at grand hill his price will probably be around there for a while uh, as you guys do know he isn't for a lock and set prop for the first galaxy oval in nba 2k 21 my team are you am i gonna lock him in i'm never locking cards i don't care if i have five mil mt you will never see bugs locking cards ever so here we go small four pink dime minimum buyout 500 this is a, just an amazing filter. Whatever pops up, do not hesitate. Even if it's Pegit, even if it's Dreams Worthy. Tell, I'm telling you right now, guys, those are very good cards. Even if you don't want to sell them back and possibly lose 10 KMT, just snipe them out, use them. Pegit Stojakovic is the best shooter in this game. I'm telling you, man. I played with him. I've done the XP challenges for him. I pulled him. He is an absolute GOAT. With that being said, this small, this small forward filter is most definitely the best filter in the game. And guys, I want to hear down below in the comments, are you guys ready for next gen? Like, are you guys hyped for next gen? Are you guys kind of bummed about next gen now? Because honestly, me, myself, I'm honestly kind of hyped. Honestly, I wouldn't have bought next gen so fast if it was really the same my team. But it is for the load up speeds. It is for the content. So we're here. We're ready to roll. But yo, let's go over some other snipe filters. Let's see if the market's crashed with my uh, magical shooting guard snipe filter. And guys, today, the market is up big time. It is time to sell every single investment before next gen does come out. Because tomorrow, there might be some crazy, crazy hype. No one knows. Maybe they drop some crazy Tuesday content, which they never do. But you never know. And guys, I am on the pink diamond stage. I am waiting till the next season to buy that final diamond. Uh, but yo, so... Pink Diamond's shooting guard is actually up in value. Ray Allen is definitely a good buy. Um, at 200K, I'm saying when that set comes out for J.R. Smith, he'll probably rise up in value like crazy. He's most definitely going to rise up in value. Um, so definitely try picking him out. Let's go with the Amethyst filter, man. Let's check out the Amy 20 filter. Let's see what's repping over there. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if it's worth actually buying this car, buying that car. And guys, Kawhi Leonard 
is down big time if you don't have him in your collection good good player to pick up especially if they do drop a challenge you'll make about 10k if they do drop a challenge um so here we go man um let's actually see what challenge they dropped today did they drop anything no nah, they didn't drop any dailies with a player so no one no value does go up today i still gotta do this still gotta do this win the week at 11 6 so we still got time on that um anyways add this filter let's check it out let's see what's going on Let's see what's going on with the Amethyst filter. Okay, looking the same, guys. Markets crashed on the Amethyst end. Actually, no. Karan Butler went out from 8K to around 10K, so not too bad. Definitely a great time to sell. Honestly, I'm going to pick up that Steve Francis. He's a budget baller. I say his price definitely does go up, so I'm going to invest in him. I have a couple Steve Francis's. Um, definitely worth the investment. So right now, guys, today is a very good day to sell your cards, period. Just sell everything you guys got. Get ready for next gen. Clean out your collection. Do whatever you want. On the My Team Fanatics, I'm a halfway towards Galaxy Opal Lillard. You don't understand how hyped I am for Lillard. I love Lillard. He's going to make or break the game. And honestly, he's going to be better than that Pink Diamond Curry. Guaranteed. I'm telling you right now, that Lillard is going to be absolutely goaded. So pretty much, looking at the market, it's just a great day to sell. Looking at everything, guys, it's just a great day to sell. I would really considering cleaning out my collection for next gen because as you guys do know they're having they have a big plan for next gen here's the thing they're actually giving us free rubies honestly that's the best free card they'll ever give us which is crazy to he like crazy so 2k actually released free rubies in this week's roll okay free rubies 2k wouldn't even give us free emeralds so this week i think they are actually going to release something big i definitely think this week's gonna be big and then the week after that's gonna be slow and then the next season's gonna be massive so that's the way i see it we don't know exactly what we're gonna get tomorrow but we're definitely gonna get some crazy content for next gen and i will probably be streaming early um also later at like 12 a.m trying to show you what the next gen is guys looking over the market man it's just a great day to sell that's how you're gonna make your mt that is how you're gonna make your mt if you literally you literally do this all today you sell every single card you got in your collection that is how you're going to make mt the title says insane mt making methods well the insane mt making method is literally selling your team and that's all i wanted to go over i just want to go over pricing and whatnot and the pricing is super high super super high right now guys sell your investments it's just a great 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 time and honestly that's all we got for the video i just want to check over westbrook's value i did just get him last night hopefully he's up in value all right he's down in value so i'm gonna try to do those solos as soon as possible i'm gonna lose bank off of it but whatever i'm used to it anyways yo that's all we got for the vid stay tuned for more content have a good one peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure to be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt hit me up right now